Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In today's video I want to talk about a new food I've been feeding my fish recently. It's called Rapache Sordent Green and it's a gel based food which you can feed to your fish. I found that my fish and shrimp have really been enjoying this stuff. So I'm going to give you a little bit more information about this product and how to make it. And then at the end of the video I'll show you how much my fish and shrimp love this stuff. So this is what the Rapache Sordent Green looks like when it's all ready and prepared. I moulded my Rapache into little cubes. This lets me drop one or two cubes into the tank and it'll be more than enough to feed all the fish and shrimp. Just before I show you how I make my rapashi cubes, I'm going to talk a little bit more what's in this food. The rapashi swollen green powder is made up of a lot of different ingredients. There's spirulina algae, krill meal, pea protein, squid meal, rice protein, dry seaweed, turmeric and a lot of different minerals. This stuff is packed full of nutrients which are really good for your fish and shrimp. This powder is mainly made up of algae and seaweed which makes it really good for algae grazing fish and shrimp. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make rapashi. To make it I'll be using a 1 to 3 ratio. I like to use a kitchen scale just to measure out my rapashi so I get accurate measurements, but it's not super necessary to do this. You can measure out the powder and water using tablespoons or cups. I weighed out about 29 grams of the rapashi powder for this batch. And now we're going to measure out three parts of boiling water. I use about 87 grams of water for this mixture. I found that using freshly boiled water gave me the best results. I heard that this makes it a lot easier for the rapashi to set. Now you'll need to quickly mix together the water and powder. I used the fork as I found it was the best utensil to get all the powder evenly hydrated. Just make sure you give it a really good mix, you want to make sure all the powder is being mixed in evenly. The last thing you want in your mixture is some dry powder that hasn't been mixed in properly. Using the 1 to 3 ratio I got quite a thick mixture. You want to try and work as quickly as you can as once this stuff starts to cool down it will start to set. I like to set my rapashi into this mini ice cube tray. By using this mini ice cube tray you can make little 1 by 1 cubes of rapashi for your fish. I found that these small cubes are really good for my small tanks. I can literally drop one or two cubes into the tank and it'll be more than enough for the fish. Now I'm going to pour the rapashi into the ice cube tray. I'm trying to work as quickly as I can. I don't want to let the rapashi set before I mould it into the little cubes. I found that using an old credit card or a bit of plastic is great for spreading the rapashi into the slots. I underestimated how much rapashi I would need to fill this whole tray. I've been using the rapashi soil in green quite a lot recently and I ended up making a lot of batches of it for my fish. So I was a little bit short when I made this batch. I think if I used 35 grams of powder and about 105 grams of water I would have had enough to fill this whole tray. Once you've filled the ice cube tray with the rapashi you need to let it cool and set. If you do this at room temperature it will take about an hour or if you place it in the fridge it will take about half an hour to set. But what I like to do is put it in the freezer and it should set solid in about 15 minutes. And because the cubes are frozen it makes it super easy to get them out of the silicon tray. So here's my rapashi fully frozen now and because we use a silicon ice cube tray it makes it super easy to pop out the little cubes. You can see since we use a mini ice cube tray we get these nice little cubes of rapashi. I think this is the perfect size to feed your small fish or even nano fish. Finally put your rapashi cubes into a container. Since rapashi soil in the green is a fresh food for your fish it has a limited shelf life. You can leave it in the fridge for about two weeks and it will be fresh to feed to your fish. Or you could do what I like to do and leave them in the freezer and it will keep fresh for about one to two months. This is super useful especially if you're making big batches of it. Just make sure you thaw it out before you feed it to your fish. I highly recommend you saw your rapashi in the fridge or in the freezer. I saw rapashi at ambient temperatures once and it didn't end well. After about two days the rapashi was really mouldy. This is mainly due to the rapashi having a high water content. This makes it super easy for mould to grow on. Let me show you how good this stuff is. Let's put it into my hillstream goldby tank first. These gobies are mainly algae eaters so they'll really appreciate this food. The rapashi sword in green can be a really good algae replacement if you're struggling to feed algae grazing fish. And straight away you can see that the gobies are really going for this little cube of rapashi. And once the centre of the rapashi gets into the water column you can see all the gobies going straight for it. These guys really do love to graze on rapashi. After a few minutes all the gobies are swarmed onto the one piece of rapashi I put into the tank. They really are enjoying grazing on this little cube. Now let's try it in my fish bowl setup. In this bowl we have some guppies and some yellow shrimp. You can see it takes a little bit of time for the fish and shrimp to get used to it. But after a few minutes the guppies start to get some interest in the rapashi. Finally let's try my jungle aquascape aquarium. In this tank we got a lot of rasboras, some gobies and a lot of fire red cherry shrimp. 
and just like in the fishbowl you can see the shrimp are super interested in the rapashi. It will take a few minutes for the reservoir to get the scent of the rapashi, but once the first few start pecking and eating the cube, more will start to join in. And now you can really see that the reservoirs are really enjoying this rapashi. They will really start to swarm around the rapashi when it starts to break down into the water column. So overall I highly recommend you start feeding this to your fish. It's a great way to improve your fish's diet and give them something different to eat. It's super quick and easy to make and it goes a long way. The only downside of using this product is that when you're preparing it, it can smell a little bit. But it's not like a horrible smell, you can just open a window and the smell will go away pretty quickly. I highly recommend you buy some, this stuff is really good. I'll be feeding this to all my fish a lot more now. I'll put a link in the description and the comments below for the Rapashi soil and green powder. And I'll put another link to the ice cube tray using this video too. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a like, it'll really help this video out. And also recently, I've been looking at my YouTube analytics. I found that 95% of people watching these videos aren't subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on this channel, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And to end this video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit extra footage of the fish eating the Rapashi Soil and Green repaired earlier in this video.